Howdy guys, it's a Nintendo Capri Sun here, and we are back to do case two of Trials and Tribulations, the stolen turnabout. 1 a.m. So I'm probably awake. Huh? That sounds familiar. Oh, is a safe? Wait, what? What a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. It's gumshoe! <laughs> oh no. Did he have a pen behind his ear? Whoa, what was that code? I saw the end of it, it looked like it said 816. Man, look at this animation, dude. Okay. And inside we have a TV dinner! What? Turn on the searchlights! Fanto just stole something from us! Oh my god, this music, man! Somebody actually suggested I should try using headphones to avoid the echo situation. And I thought, what a wonderfully awful idea! I love it, and there goes Batman. We shall meet again when the next moon is full. <laughs> um. Jeez, what an intro. <laughs> Alright, so how are we involved in this? What? Something got stolen by Batman and Piter Man. I... Hey, Maya, what's up? Get a load of this. Are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. This is important. You know, in the bathroom. <laughs> All right. What are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. What? Really? Big time? You mean like the Peter Gabriel song? Um. Oh, God. What now? Where have you guys been? Pearls, you haven't changed a bit! Wait, what are you doing here anyway? Shouldn't you be in school? What is this? Oh, boy. What? What the heck? What, did they make it into a tourist attraction now? Oh boy. Huh. Do we get to see Corrine Village again? That would be cool. I really liked that case, actually. The Treasures of Corrine exhibit doesn't actually start till next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. Oh, you look the same as you always do. <laughs> SMDD, I guess. This long this long yady here is Maya Fay, the younger sister of Mia Fay, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. Oh, don't do this now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that she is. Wait, I'm, I'm... He's talking to the audience. You can't hear what he's saying. Did you just break the fifth wall? This little girl was Pearl Faye, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin, a spirit medium of training herself, and she might as well be my daughter at this point. Okay. I was reading a message board, I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I was reading a message board once about, and this was like a long time ago, people were talking about who was their least favorite character. One person said Pearl, and they said the reason for that is because of this game. So I'm not sure what that means, but I guess we'll be finding out. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, my right, here is the daughter of the Karain School. Yes. I love Karain Village. I've slept there plenty of times, let me tell you. It's no joke, you know. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's the real thing, all right. Earth to Nick! How long are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? <laughs> Jeez. Might as well. If there's no cases to solve, what the hell. So, we got the... I don't know, what is it? The exhibit? Poster or something? Huh. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Jeez, for a second there I thought that music was the beginning of If You Leave Me Now by Chicago. Wow, this is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. <laughs> it all depends on how you display it. So, like... Did they seriously just take all that stuff out of there? And make a museum out of it? Like a... In the basement warehouse? That doesn't sound creepy at all. Was that a cell phone? No, that's part of the music. <laughs> okay, examine. Here we go. So we're gonna get a recap of, like, the previous game here. I think I remember this old folding screen here. Pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. Yeah, it was. Yep. Hmm. Jeez. Yeah, no kidding. What the heck, man? So over here looks like a model of the village. Oh, Mr. Kamara, look, I can't believe it. It's so cute! It's a little diorama of Karain Village, yep. Somehow it seems to reek of dreariness. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Don't do it, they might get mad. Alright, what's this over here? It, well, it's for people who want to sleep here, probably. Gargle. Great, it's treasure. Of course there is. It's got hair all over it. Yeah, I probably would if you, like, put it over somebody's head. You know, and, like, suffocated them with it. Then it would take their breath away. Here's the title in English. 108 ways to save money. I'm pretty sure I saw this on BuzzFeed. <laughs> okay. Nah, it's not so bad. I think we've seen enough here. Yeah, sign, whatever. Okay, see where we can go from here. Can we go left? We can go to the basement warehouse. Oh my god, this just turned into the Stanley parable. Jeez, look at this. Yup. This is a basement warehouse, alright. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Watch, now somebody's gonna come out in a costume and be like, Arrgh! Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. Oh my god, I have to guess. I have to guess. Who is it? It's gonna be, uh... That guy. The Steel Samurai guy. No. <laughs> Just, whatever. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 it's you! Your palette swapped! How many pairs of glasses do you have on you? I know you! I stole the baby from you, Daikini! While you were taking a pee-pee! Alright. Ah, uh, hello. So you a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. Good to see you again. Wow, charge of, in charge of the promotion. Okay. 
that's nice. Step up from what you were doing before, maybe? Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. Alright. So, like, which exhibit is going to be the focus of our attention here? Is there something in the past probably going to come up? Anyway. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Ah, oh, a couple months. It wasn't so bad. What's going on? Who is this woman? Why are you spazzing out on me? She's totally... You know... It's because she still gets jealous. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. It was something that happened, oh, seven months ago. Wow, that's, that's a fairly long time. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case. <laughs> that's right. Sure enough. Eh, she's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Well, that's good. So what is this lordly tailor we keep hearing about? It's hard to say that without doing all the spit in your mouth. Anyway, I'm really impressed with Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhi a exhibition like this must be very tiring. Well, lordly tailor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. They're just about as old as this country. Well, not really. <laughs> cool. Sounds kind of boring, actually, but okay. <laughs> hmm. Priceless treasures. Oh. What, you mean like a jujitsu or something? Huh. I don't know if I even dare ask. Let's see what we can look at around here. This computer looks like it's hooked up to the internet. No. Oh. <laughs> to the security camera. Yeah, alright. That means what exactly? You know, also, if somebody comes in and tries to tamper with things, you know, they can see who did it and then they can go arrest them and put them in jail. And then they can get. you know what? Okay, so we have another, you know, windy old bag situation here. Oh. Huh. Burr. <laughs> yep, that's all I can read too, Phoenix. I've got it, maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? I was trying to think of something and you... Wow. Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Well, if they're trying to sell them. <laughs> I wonder if there really is such a thing. Spaghetti? What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Well, maybe it was Chef Boyer D. No, I'm sorry. I was struggling so hard for something there. A typo? Um. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I love these games, I tell you. It's a security camera, it's trained on the warehouse door. Naturally. <laughs> Is it a pound of cure? I thought it was like a... Something else. I don't know. <laughs> the door looks like a fire extinguisher, a phone, a light, a ladder. Look! A ladder! That's a step ladder. So what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think so. That does sound familiar. Uh, I think we've seen... I don't know, it's another door. Okay, there is something here. Okay. 
Yeah, it's probably like, you know, Tyler Perry's dildo collection. You know. <laughs> unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? Why are you smiling as you say it? You say it as if, hey, we're gonna sneak in there. But I guess we totally are. Oh, there's more to this, actually. Okay, what the hell is that? Whoa, is it really? Yes, that's the statue of the woman who invented the Korean channeling technique, Ami Fei. Huh. Just arrived this morning? So they're like just moving in with this stuff. Like, how long is this stuff gonna be here? Is this permanent? I, I guess I have to assume it is. It's a creepy looking thing she's holding. Oh god. It's probably something that goes with the Magatama, or Magatama. You know, because we got both guts, we got both guts. We got both guts! Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. Holy, holy sh... What the fuck? That thing is the crane. Let me see if I can get this. Shichi Shito. <laughs> the Shishishito. Wow. Shichishito. Shichishito? It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Well, good. Oh, fooey. I wanted to cut something. <laughs> what? Eight o'clock? Is that a.m. or p.m.? Well, actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. When are we all dine together? Yeah, so happy. It sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids' lunch. You can have a strawberry. Or something, I don't know. Oh, it's dinner, so it must be 8 p.m. Alright. Okay. Haha, uh -huh. shall we head upstairs then? Wait a minute, I wanted to look around some more. After that pleasant evening, all that we remained was to wait for the, ex the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. So happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day, something terrible would happen. Of course. Of course. October 12th. Uh Alright. Nick, this is terrible! What the- You're cleaning the toilet again! You know, in the bathroom! What in the world? I never knew you were such a toilet! <laughs> Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Okay, you just do that then. We've got an update on the recent treasure heist. SpongeBob SquarePants is in the house! Okay, mask de mask. Uh huh. Mask the mask. Uh huh. Aww. Oh. No. What am I gonna do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet! <laughs> Treasure, Lordly Taylor, you don't think. Yes, now get up, Nick, it was stolen! Oh. No. What, the urn was stolen, too? Does that- that still has, like... Oh, boy. Okay, hang on a second here, wait, let's talk. What's going on here? Refresh my memory a little. What's this sacred urn? It's like the thing that Pearl broke. And it had the ashes in it, but now it doesn't because she broke it, so... I am. I told you to remember what's inside. The urn contains a very important soul. 
Namely, the soul of Mr. Golly Fay, the founder of the Korean channeling technique. <laughs> right, Pearly? Oh, no, she knows. Hold up. I thought that urn had the name Ami written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm. Any idea how that happened, Pearly? You better cough it up. <laughs> no eight-year-old says that, or she's nine. Is she nine now? I don't know. That's right. One year ago, there... Okay. There was a murder. A sacred urn. Turned out to be an important clue in that case. It did. Okay, and it's with us again. It looks different. Huh. What to do? Okay, the toilet <laughs> is shinier than the judge's head. Oh my god, they were throwing a 